So Dale and Cindy, first of all, thank you for talking to the students at uh, the university. Uh, I'd like to ask you first to tell me about yourselves, uh, what you do for the Project Management Institute, uh, and uh, the role you play in your current job. Okay. All right, Cindy, go All ahead. Right, thanks. Um, so I am the president of the chapter for the PMICTT local chapter um, and the CEO. So my responsibility there is to the overall governance and operations of the chapter. And then at work, I am the program director for the flood initiative. It's one of the strategic initiatives that our organization is implementing. Interesting. Thank you. And uh, Dale? I, I am presently the uh, director of the professional development portfolio and uh, part of uh, the work that I do involves the event organization and management. We also look after certification of project managers, recertification, and uh, we also have a mentoring program and that all falls under my portfolio. And during the day, I am the program manager for enterprise service management office at the cooperators. So. Oh, you're very busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so can you just introduce the Project Management Institute uh, for the students and uh, uh, tell them what it does? Certainly. The Project Management Institute is a, is a global organization. It is the world's um, largest um, professional development membership association to deal with project portfolio and program management. So what it does is it, it helps members get education in that field as well as help them to connect and collaborate with other people in the world that are interested in that same field. Thank you. And so why are project management skills important today? Why are these skills important ones for students to learn? Well, they're very important because projects, almost everything is done as a project in business today. I, I remember going back many years when I first began in project management and a gentleman by the name of Peter, Peter Drucker, who is, uh, I'll call him a, a futurist, I uh, actually predicted that in future everything would be project work and I would have to say he was right on. So those skills are really important as young people begin to enter the workforce and it will certainly provide them the skills they need to excel. Wonderful. And why should students join the Project Management Institute and, and how do they do that? Well, how they join the Project Management Institute, you can log on to www.pmi.org and uh, they will guide you through the process. There are uh, specific uh, student rates and uh, it's a great opportunity to not only find out more about project management, but to be able to connect with local chapters such as our own and begin to network, find mentors, and really understand if that's uh, a profession or a direction that you'd like to take in your career. Great. and. Uh... What's the role of the local chapter of the PMI? So the local, local chapter is really uh, hands-on, feet on the grounds. We're the face that actually meet the members. Um, we offer uh, education and, and things like that as well, as, as well as collaboration and actually allowing them to, to network with people that are in their local community. So from a student's perspective, it's probably really good to join a chapter because you get to meet pe people and network with them. And if it's something you want to do, you can actually meet people who would try to mentor you or help you along in your career. So it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity that way from a chapter to have a, the interaction with the chapter members. Thank you. So for students and at universities and colleges, this is a... Uh, this would seem to be a very good thing. Uh, the PMI, your chapter, Canada's Technology Triangle, is, is, is active here in Waterloo. What types of activities are you engaged in and how do students find out about those? All right, well, as far as what the chapter is up to and what sorts of events we're having, the best place to find out about that is on our website and that is a little bit different than the PMI website. So it's www.pmi-ctt.org. And actually, if you Google PMI CTT, it will come up for you. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so, so you don't have to listen to my spelling. <laughs> but uh, 
we have a variety of events. Uh, for many years, we focused a lot on uh, dinner events where we would bring in a speaker and have some networking afterwards. Uh, but recently, we've uh, begun to expand our repertoire. Uh, very recently, we had an event which was a panel discussion with experienced project managers talking about disaster projects and lessons learned from those projects. And we offer a symposium every year. It's a full day event uh, that's held at the end of October, typically. And uh, that actually provides a, a full day immersion in several tracks. Uh, related to project management. We're also looking at holding a professional development half day, so to talk about what project management opportunities are available locally in the region and, uh, and to help people brand themselves and, and identify those transferable skills and help them, I guess, package them up so that they can market themselves in the local community. So we're offering a much more broad base of events and uh, I invite all the students to look at our chapter website because our calendar is updated regularly. Thank you. And do they need to be a member of the PMI to be able to participate? Actually, they don't. Uh, we have uh, variable rates, so both members and non-members can attend. But as you might imagine, it's going to cost more if you're a non-member. So get that student membership and, uh, and you'll, you'll get a fabulous rate to be able to come out and participate. Thank you. And yes. for me, sorry. I was going to say yes, it's actually probably cheaper if they end up getting a membership because if they're going to come to three or four events, they'll save the membership fees by becoming a member. Absolutely. And it's very affordable to become a student member, so that's probably very something affordable. they should think about. Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you. And they may also be thinking about becoming a project management uh, professional as, par as part of their career goals. Um, what, 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 how, what do they do to become a project management professional? So the PMP designation is a process. Uh, it involves both education as well as an experiential component and that varies a little bit with uh, the level of education that you have. If you have a post-secondary degree, uh, you require uh, 35 contact hours of project management training as well as uh, 6,500 hours of experience as a project manager. And uh, if you have uh, an advanced degree, such as a, a graduate or master's, that requirement goes down to 4,000 hours, uh, in addition to the 35 hours of contact time and uh, in your degree. Thank you. Now, I'm also aware there is the Certified Associate in Project Management, which is another possibility for students. Uh, how do they achieve that and why might it be valuable to them? Well, the CAPM is an excellent entry level uh, certification to get in project management. As opposed to the PMP or the full project management professional designation which focuses on the entire 12 areas of uh, expertise as outlined in the project management body of knowledge that the PMI publishes and updates. The CAPM is uh, focused largely on project terminology, uh, basic project processes, so the five, the initiation, planning, execution, uh, and, and such. Uh, however, uh, you only need the 35 contact hours and you do not need to have completed your degree. So it gives you a really good foundational level in terms of understanding what project management is about. And it will also indicate to employers, once you are finished, that you're interested in following that path. So I think it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to introduce yourself into the profession. Seems like a good thing. Okay, so I am also uh, know that the Project Management Institute has other certifications. Do you want to briefly describe those for the students? All right, there's a whole lot of certifications <laughs> available through PMI and they expand all the time. So the actually, the newest uh, certification is actually, uh, it's called the PMI-PBA, which is a professional business analyst uh, role. Uh, 
but there is also the project management professional, CAPM. Uh, there are advanced project management designations, one in program management for those uh, project managers who are um, uh, experienced and who are running books of projects or multiple complex projects to reach larger strategic initiatives. And there's also a portfolio designation uh, available and that's, uh, I would say, probably restricted to the most senior uh, project managers who are running large portfolio offices or portfolios of projects. Uh, for large organizations. There are also a number of niche designations. Uh, there is one for agile project management, one for uh, project risk management. There is a scheduling designation, and as well the, uh, the business analyst. And Cindy, I'm not sure if I've forgotten any. I don't think Thank so. You. Okay. Most of them anyway. That's enough for them to get started. <laughs> okay. yes. Thank you. I'll carry there them for a, a few lot. years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. So, and then my final question is, uh, what advice would you have uh, for students who are uh, preparing today to enter the workforce? You want to start? Sure, I'll start. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of the, uh, I guess, most important pieces of advice that I would give is to keep your options open. And as I spoke of earlier, it's really important to understand that so many companies are focused on uh, students coming into the workforce with some project management uh, understanding and knowledge that uh, it would be really good to at least investigate it and, uh, and perhaps participate in one course, even if it's not what you want to do for a living, and it's not the, you know, necessarily the specific career path that you're choosing, it will uh, provide you a lot of benefit. Yeah. That's wonderful. And I would add to that, um, the opportunity of becoming a member um, and getting, getting associated with the, the PMI local chapter is that you get to learn and meet other people. And when you're out in this, as a student looking for a job in the job market, it allows doors to open for you that might not otherwise. Great, and that's very important today. So uh, thank you for taking the time, uh, Cindy and Dale, to talk to me today and explain uh, project management and the Project Management Institute to students. I'm sure there are many who will want to take up the opportunity to connect with you and, uh, uh, and improve their career prospects when they do so. So thank you. Thank you. Well, and thank you for the opportunity. We look forward to uh, welcoming as many of them as would like to come and, uh, and meet with us. So. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.